Never forced, never coerced. Open discussions about things in life that matter to you most. From tech to TV, movies, and gaming, and everything in between. Streaming live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And be sure to join us every Friday night at 11 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 11 p.m. GMT for Weekend Chill, exclusively on Mixcloud. Welcome to Voluntary Input. What's up, guys? Hey, social media has definitely had its ups and downs over the years, uh, especially the last couple years have really shown us a lot about ourselves, I like to think. Uh, and if you are kind of a little burnt out on it, like I think pretty much all of us are, and you're kind of like, man, what, what else comes next? You know, what can happen next? Well, tonight I'm going to talk to you about an app uh, called Pocket Change. Now, the CEO of Pocket Change was supposed to be on tonight, but I think there was a uh, slight misunderstanding about the time difference. He is out in Denver, Colorado. Maybe he'll pop on a little later. However, let me go ahead and show you what this is all about. This is Pocket Change, uh, social media that makes things better. Now, here's what's cool about Pocket Change. Everything you post, every like and every share actually sends a donation a small micro donation to a cause. So for example, if you saw someone post something about a, uh, a sports, a sporting event, you could say, Hey, you could just hit like, and a small micro donation. And it looks like they're all usually about 25 cents gets sent to the cause that that person has already, uh, you know, already said that they're supporting. Now, the cool thing about pocket change is there are a list of multiple causes. Uh, I have the phone here on my, uh, the app here on my phone, but the overhead camera, I was going to share this with you guys, has decided that, nah, it doesn't really want to cooperate tonight either. So it's one of those nights. That's all right. We'll get through it. So basically, you hit the uh, plus mark, like you're going to share a post, and then you get the option to select a cause. Now, there is a list of multiple causes here. Uh, it first suggests some causes too, based on some things that you type in, or you can even create a cause. So for example, let's say you want to create a, uh, a post thread about, uh, you know, a lot of people have been talking about how dolphins, you know, we still talk about how they, they're getting called in those tuna nets. So you could create a cause like a Greenpeace cause, I guess for that. And then when you post it and you can share links from any site any app and you know it could be uh related to the cause that you're posting about now anyone that comes in and likes it it automatically does a micro donation of like a quarter or if they share it it also does it also automatically does that micro donation it, it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool app uh let's see i think uh let's see if we can get the ceo on it looks like there was some uh, other confusion going on. That's all right. You know, things happen sometimes. Here he is. Good evening, sir. Hello, hello. Apologies. I was doing Google Meet and realized we were over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it happens. You know, things happen. Th things get a little confusing. So I was just kind of talking through what pocket change is. Mm -hmm. How about let's start over from the beginning. You want to tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. Um, well, thank you so much for having me, Leo. Uh, my name is Rain. I'm the CEO of Pocket Change. Uh, we are essentially social media that makes things better. What we want to be is we want to be the social platform that helps to sort of reverse all the chaos that's going on in the world right now. A social platform that brings people together and people don't feel guilty about using. Um, so we're launching on June 17th. We're launching a platform where every single time you post, like, or reply, free money will go to charity at no cost to you. So if you post, you know, clips from your podcast, if you want to post pictures of you at the beach, the meals you're eating, whatever, it'll be doing good in the world. The more time you spend on pocket change, the more goodness goes into the world. So that's what pocket change is in a nutshell, is social media that makes things better. And I, I like that. I like the sound of that social media that makes things better. Now, mm -hmm. social media has come a long way since uh, I think it was 2004 when Facebook first launched. Uh, what are some things that you've seen along the way? I mean, I'm sure we all have some some uh, horror stories, but uh, what are some some things you've seen along the way that made you think, you know, I want to do something different? Absolutely. Great question. 
Um, I think some of the major things, there's a wonderful documentary on Netflix called The Social Dilemma. If you yeah. haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend checking that out. I think that that really encapsulates how I feel. I think if I've seen anything is Facebook started, you know, in the early 2000s as a way for college friends to connect on campus. They never thought that they would get to 2 billion monthly people checking in on them every single month. Um, so they were not ready for any of the stuff that they've been thrown into. They weren't ready for the divisiveness. They weren't ready for the echo chambers. They did the best that they could, um, but they had no idea that it would grow to the size that it can get to. So if there's anything that I've seen with social media, it's that everything's algorithms and sorting you into people that you agree with and only showing you the most controversial stuff to get you going and only focusing on keeping you on the platform for as long as possible, as, as addicted to the platform as you possibly can. Um, and that's what pocket change is trying to fix all of, all of the above. That's that's yeah. <laughs> and I heard the twins are coming out with their own movie too. Cause you know, that yeah. rumor that, uh, Mark actually stole it from them. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. He has a, I mean, the very beginning of Facebook, he b- hacked into a database, stole pictures of people and pitted them against each other in the name of virality. So that's what Facebook still is today. He hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> there's no way around it. Um, so I guess one of the first big questions is going to be, so your approach is to Every every post, every like, every share gets a small micro donation. I was kind of explaining a little bit through that. So I guess one of the first big questions is, well, where does the money come from for these micro donations? Yeah. Um, so we have a model where we basically raise money from external donors. So wealthier donors who want to pitch in $1,000 um, and up can do that. And then whoever's on the platform gets to allocate, you know, what charities they want to want to give to um and we've got suggested causes and charities if you don't know anything about giving that's totally fine too pocket change is set up for that so we've got external donors that pay for all of the donations on the platform just because they want they believe in the mission everything that we're doing and then long term we'll be getting brands involved so let's say patagonia could come along and pay for all of your donations in the sustainability space or um, red bull could come along and pay for all of your donations when you're talking about getting outdoors and doing crazy things and pursuing your dreams so things things along those lines so i was i've been perusing through it um and i was talking a little bit ago i was going to show an overhead shot but the overhead camera decided it didn't want to cooperate and i've noticed that you know People are sharing because it says you can post and share whatever you want from any other app. And I've seen some TikTok videos and whatnot. Um, so so my question was going to be, how does it decide what charities that it goes to? But I see that you select a charity before you even post. Yep, exactly. So we've got the way it works is we've got a whole bunch of causes preloaded in the app um, with charities that we've selected um, for those causes. So let's say you want to talk about uh, you know, Nikola Jokic winning the MVP, right? Um, I'm from Denver, so of course I'm going to use that as an example. Uh, you want to talk about Jokic winning the MVP. Um, we've got a cause on there for physical education. We've got an incredible charity pick for physical education. And you talk all you want about Jokic, and it's helping young kids get involved in sports and all of that kind of stuff um, at no cost to you. So we've got a bunch of causes and charities pre-selected, pre-loaded, and vetted all by us. And then if you want to customize, give to your local shelters or give to local nonprofits, build your own cause, um, you can do that in the app as well. Nice, nice. And I see where you can actually add a cause as well. Um, How does that work if I just add a cause? Yep. So all you got to do to add a cause is you press add a cause. You type in whatever the cause name is. So like I'm a huge fan of Calvin and Hobbes. Um, here's my little, <laughs> odd um, yeah, I, I, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Calvin and Hobbes. So I set up a Calvin and Hobbes, uh, cause where I just called it Calvin and Hobbes. I found some, uh, cartoon museum, uh, that gets kids involved in cartooning at an early age. Um, and I, and I set it up and now anytime I post, I often select Calvin and Hobbes cause as my cause. Um, and anybody who likes it is donating money to Calvin and Hobbes cause as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, you know, um, I've said for some time and I still say it now that uh, we need to bring the social back in social media. It just feels like, you know, a lot of things nowadays is winning an argument or so-called debate or sharing news and whatnot. And I kind of feel and I know other people do, too, that 
some of this has to do with content moderation. So how do you moderate content that's different from the way it's traditionally done? Great question. Um, how we do it is, well, let me start by saying how Facebook and Twitter do it, and then I'll compare that to us. So Facebook and Twitter started by saying, here are all of the things that you're not allowed to say on the platform. So you're not allowed to talk about these issues. You're not allowed to use these words. You're not allowed to do all. And they did the very best that they could. But anybody who has raised a family or built a business or um, done any anything that you lead a group in knows that that's not the way that you build good culture. You build good culture by saying, here's what we're striving to be all about. And then we'll back into all of the rules and way and processes in order to make that happen. So that's exactly what Pocket Change did. So the way that we do content moderation is we start with three guiding principles. First is treat everyone with respect. We That's the basis of the platform. When you come on Pocket Change, you will be respected um, for your opinions, beliefs, where you come from, um, all of this, because um, it's the baseline of humanity. The second is criticize ideas, not people. So we want people going after the idea someone's presenting rather than, you know, hey, you suck, you're an idiot. Um, and then the third is to connect with people you disagree with. Um, so we really want you to find people that you disagree with and actually seek out those conversations and talk to people, see if you can learn something, see if you can teach somebody something in a way that isn't combative. So we start with those guiding principles. You, you say our community strives to and you accept or don't join the platform. And then once you're in, we've got a whole bunch of content moderation underneath that. So what does respect mean? What does um, criticizing an idea rather than a person mean? Um, obviously, we're a small platform. These rules and everything are going to grow as the platform grows, but we think that we're approaching it in the right way. And I love that you said that that last part, connect with people you disagree with, because I think that's a, that's a lot of, you know, a lot of what fuels things that are going on today is people don't know how to disagree anymore. It's like, you know, you, you can disagree and then you learn from you, uh, one another, like you said. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Voluntary Input is brought to you by Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. So if you've always wanted to start a podcast, make money doing it. Go to anchor.fm slash start to join a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I like that you touched on the growth because that was going to be my next question. You know, it seems like a lot of times this moderation, it gets a little, I don't know if it's out of control is the word I want to use as platforms grow because I think the overall problem is you can't make everybody happy. So do you think you guys are, you know, poised to, to handle that scale? Let's say I, you know, suddenly boom to 2.5 million users. Definitely going to be a challenge for us, but I think that we're we're really approaching it in the right way. Um, I think that it's all about I think how you start and then staying on that track, um, and and you don't want to start in the wrong way. So I think that we're starting in the right way, and we've already had a couple of challenges, and you know we have a whole moderation system set up. Um, we don't do any algorithmic moderation; it's all people um, at the beginning. Um, we do do algorithm, algorithmic reporting. So if somebody posts something, you know, a horrible image or something on the platform, it'll get caught much faster. Um, so we do that. But all of our all of our moderation, I do some of the moderation. Um, and then we have a couple other people that do the moderation. Um, and we really try and do it in the most judicious way possible. But who knows what we'll do uh, at, at, a, at a billion user scale. And, and I'd be Curious for some of your listeners to test this out. See, see, see if you push the boundaries. See, see how you can help us evolve our process. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And hopefully, more people will now that they, you know, more listeners get, uh, you know, get introduced to the platform. That'd be great. You know, and on the positive side of that, the more users, the more donations. Uh, what What is your overall vision as far as that goes? With you know, donations on the platform, and you start growing. Yeah, um, it's really exciting so far. Um, it's something that's really sustainable for us. Um, the the donation sizes range, um, but up to five cents per like um, is going at totally free. So 
um, it's it's a model where if somebody gives a thousand dollars, they could be getting you know twenty up to twenty thousand interactions um, for that a thousand bucks. It's a way better way of them doing their giving it amplifies their giving. Um, and my favorite part about the platform personally is that the more time I spend on Pocket Change, the more goodness gets put out into the world. It's like literally social media. I don't have to feel bad about being on. You know, I don't have to set timers for myself. If I like a meme or uh, uh, I post my favorite, you know, song that just came out or whatever, it's it's spreading goodness. It's 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 awesome. I was just watching um, a compliment battle. It was yeah. hilarious. Have you seen that? <laughs> I, I just saw that one. That was a, a really, really good. Those guys are hilarious. It, it really, it really put a twist on things. Uh, <laughs> so um, I don't know if this is letting out some secrets. What what features do you got? You got coming up or? Yeah. So what we're releasing on Thursday, uh, June seventeenth. I don't know when this podcast is coming out. Um, is this free model? In the past, you've had to pay for donations, and it costs everything. Costs you money. So we're, what we're releasing on June 17th is what everything we're talking about here. It's, it's totally free. There's a lot of cool features in the app. I don't need to jump into everything. I'll leave some of the, some of the Easter eggs for people to see. But there's some really cool stuff in there. You've got a profile. You've got an explore page. You've got a movement that you can create. Um, lots, lots of cool stuff. Now, I noticed when I first signed up, it gave me $2. Is, is that going to be going forward for every user? Yep. So as of June 17th, um, that $2 is becoming infinity dollars. So you're, you're getting unlimited. There's no caps besides if you're a, a robot and you're spamming. Um, but there's no cap on the amount of, of, of money you can spend totally free. So if you just go through and spam like everything in the feed, we'll pay for all of that. We just want people to kind of go crazy and, and, and spend our money. Put our money where your mouth is. That's another one we like to say. Oh, that's awesome. I like the sound of that. <laughs> um, and then finally, um, you know, sometimes it's hard to get people to jump on new things, uh, especially, I mean, I've gone through it before with things like Google Plus, uh, MeWe, not to, you know, drop other social media, but um, and it's often called social media fatigue. And I have to admit, I suffer from it sometimes too. I mean, it got to the point where I'm like, I'm only using Twitter. I'm just done with everything else. So how would you, uh, how would you tell people, this is how you can encourage your family and friends to jump on over to pocket change? It's a great question. Um, and I, I think it's totally reasonable. I think we all have social media fatigue. You know, we've all been on these apps for a long time. There's a never ending stream of content, never ending stream of entertainment. Um, so I don't blame anybody for having uh, social media fatigue. There's two things that I would say. Um, one is for me, I'll just use myself personally. It's a way that I don't feel guilty about it. Um, that's a big one for me. You know, I'm, I'm that, I have to put all of those timer and phone blockers and everything on my Instagram time to keep myself to doing any, any productive work, doing anything important. Um, so yeah, I'm totally well being <laughs> exactly, exactly. I've been, I've been fighting that battle since, since for the last, like, I don't know, 10 years. So yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely a challenge. So for me, what I, one thing I really like is just, it's, it's, it's social media time. I don't have to feel bad about. Um, and I really like that. And then the other thing that I would say is that we think there's a, there's a portion of people on pocket change that really use pocket change as the way to showcase the things that they really care about, um, the causes that they care about. So just like how you have LinkedIn for your business personality, um, you know, maybe Instagram for your travel personality, we hope that you can put your cause personality on pocket change. So if you want to talk about maybe something that wouldn't really work in, on Facebook or maybe something that wouldn't really work on Snapchat, maybe you want to talk about a movement that's going on, you want to talk about politics, maybe you want to talk about the news, whatever it is, and you want to feel like, I don't know, I want to do something a little bit more than just tweet about it to my friends that agree with me. Um, we hope that people can post that kind of stuff on Pocket Change too. Now, I do have one small gripe. Yeah. I noticed it's iOS only. I'm an Android I guy. What's up with that? When's it coming to Android? <laughs> Hopefully sooner rather than later. We're, we're a very small company at the moment. We've got only got two developers. So we're, we're working our butt off and we're barely maintaining our iOS platform. So 
we're, we're going to try and once we launch this, um, if things go well, if we see good reception on the launch, then we'll immediately start working on Android. We love our Android people. It's the question that I get probably the most. I probably hear it asked like five, ten times a day. Hey, uh, when is this coming to Android? Are you guys putting out Android soon? So we'll, we'll, we'll get on Android as soon as we possibly can. Um, but for right now, unfortunately, just iOS. Now, fortunately, I also have an iOS device, so I could jump in and check it out. So <laughs> I'm going to be very happy, Leo. But my main driver is a Pixel 5. So don't wait a year. I Just won't. <laughs> bring it on out. <laughs> we'll get it as soon as possible. If I can ask, why Why are you, uh, why, why do you like Android over iPhone? Oh, that's, you know, that's almost a two hour conversation. But, um, you know, the, the, the fact is, and I tell people this all the time, first and foremost, I don't believe any one of them is better than the other. Mm-hmm. You know, I tell people that all the time. And it used to be people would ask which one's better. And I would always tell them, no, neither one's better. It's which one works best for you. Mm-hmm. And it, I've just uh, over the years have found that the Android ecosystem works better for me. Um, I mean, Apple makes absolutely phenomenal devices. I mean, we can't deny that. And and then you got that M1 chip now. And I mean, wow, but it's just the way that Apple does things. It doesn't uh, doesn't gel with how I like to do things. So makes a lot of sense. Cool that Android still gives gives you a lot more freedom. So it's not just about changing colors and skins and keyboards and stuff like that. People always go to that customization, but it's not just that. It's a it's a bunch of other things. So. Absolutely. That's that's awesome. Well, we'll have to get it on Android soon so we can we can make you happy on both devices. OK, good, good. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to carry two phones around just to <laughs> just so I can keep you know, doing my charitable uh, donations on pocket change. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then one last question that I ask every guest before we wrap up. And this is a very important one. I want you to think you might not have to think long and hard. Some people do. Some people don't. But um Pancakes or waffles? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, well, you got to be careful with this answer because there, there's been a lot of feuding about this. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a great question. I'm going to have to say that I am team pancake. Oh, uh, another one for pancakes. You're like the second person in a row. Yeah, I love waffles. My co founder and I are divided on this issue. He's a waffle guy, I'm a pancake guy, but. I grew up in Hawaii and Jack Johnson's banana pancakes is like one of my favorite songs ever. And so uh, okay. old Jack Johnson angle. Okay. I got you. I got you. All right. I mean, I'm not going to say what my opinion is. I'm just trying to poll uh, because oh, we got a final answer to this. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to stop asking the question though, but we will get a final answer one day. I love it. Do people skew more team pancake or team waffle? I've had more people skew more to pan or uh, waffle team waffle. So we're the underdog. All right. Yeah, cool. you're only the second guest, and it's funny that you're the second guest in a row who has said pancakes. Wow! Wow! So that's, wow. that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. That's a great question. All right. Is there anything else you want to add before we go ahead and take off? No, thank you so much for having me, Leo. And I really appreciate it. Everybody download Pocket Change. Uh, it is on iOS. Just search Pocket Change in the App Store. And uh, I hope to see you on there. Follow me. And start doing some good. I like, you know, this really did catch my eye because I never thought about social media in this way. This mm-hmm. is this is literally brilliant. <laughs> so good job. Good idea. Great idea. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. And as always, we record this show every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, even though we're about to take a quick break. It's vacation time. You know, everybody needs a vacation. So (laughs) and we stream live uh, on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. And you can always go back and check out past episodes. And you're welcome to come back anytime if you have any uh, any other new apps that you you got coming up or whenever you launch that Android app, you can come back and talk more about it. Uh, Any new features, you know, you're more than welcome to come back anytime. Absolutely. We'll we'll definitely do it when Android comes out. I appreciate it, Leo. All right. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.